Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I'm going to do more experiments with my Mead and acrylic paint that's on my Amazon link underneath the link tree underneath the video. These are my, my swipe cards. It doesn't matter what gets on the canvas. It's pre-primed. I am going to do a dark sky and I'm going to do this, I believe, in a horizontal fashion. And I'm going to start... I would have started with some Prussian blue and a little bit of lighter blue that's Venetian blue with, with uh, Anita's metallic in it. And I'm not sure what this purple is, but it has some iridescent pearl fine from Golden in it. This is a um, dioxazine purple. I will probably put a moon in this sky. I don't know what these colors will do together, but I'm assuming since they're all in similar families that they'll be fine. Go a little bit down. Sorry, I didn't mean to make your head spin. Go a little bit up. Trying to fill in my gaps without losing all of my colors. Looks like the Northern Lights. Pretty neat. I hadn't even thought of that until right then. So I'm just going to take the color on my spatula knock it right off on the top edge and know that there's just about enough to start this other edge and that the truth is I can add some of those colors I just added if I can't get them all off of my spatula. So I don't see too many cells but if I did see cells they'd look like stars anyway. I do see that that is not covered. And I like all of that. And then some. I got myself the paint I needed on my spatula. Throwing that in the bucket. Okay. So. I think I'm going to swipe in a bottom area. Just putting paint on the canvas to cover it. In the colors that I like. I'm going to use some of the um, mysterious. That they don't make anymore. I'm going to throw some black in there. I want some silver, but I'm going to wait to add it until after. These are basically the same colors as up above. I want some copper, and I didn't think of that in advance. So, rather than swipe it in right now, I'm going to grab a clean OXO omelette turning spatula. Push my paint bottles back out of the way. Grab a little more dioxazine purple with some black and some Prussian blue and maybe a little maybe a little gold in here. Now I don't know. I kind of like that. I could just stop right now and call it good. And I'll show that to you guys, because we have some nice cells in there. All I need is a moon and some stars, and I'm pretty much fixed for how I wouldn't mind it to be. But I do want to experiment with a maiden, and I'm waiting for my maiden black. I have to say, I'm waiting for my maiden black. So what? maybe what I'll do is try a little bit of the maiden in my saucer, like I used to do with the swipe, the uh, flow troll. And right out of the gate, get that out of here. Right out of the gate? What? <laughs> right out of the gate I'm going to grab a little bit of that white on my spatula. I said I wanted some silver and I do. Let's make sure it's oh, shaken up and available. And what else do I want? I just want to find out how this is going to work, basically. I'm 
and that's not the medium, that's the silver. Okay, so. Definitely think black is more the ticket. And I did like what I had. But the truth is, I can have what I had again. And I want some green. But I want to mix it with some of that darker. I'm going to use some of the Chrysocolla. And I'm going to take a little tiny bit. No, I have no idea what I'm doing, so don't want, don't wonder. If I look confused, I am. I'm just sort of nudging in mountains in front of mountains. And thinking that I might be better off just to stop while I'm ahead. But, I think that I like what I just did. I'm going to indulge my experimentations grab a little bit more of that kind of thought silver and black would make some nice rocky shapes I could have an ocean down below there pretty easily couldn't I all I gotta do is put some dark blue at the bottom So that was the Venetian blue from Modern Masters. And all the same colors as the top, except for this time I'm going to put in some silver and add some medium to my blade again. I never did use any of my acetate cards. I kind of want to put some... Let's see if I can pick up some of this white. On the paintball that's on the end of my skewer that's dried there and become a tool that I use quite frequently. That's not bad. I kind of like it, actually. It doesn't have to look realistic to be cool. So I know I can't put a moon in there, mostly because it will bleed and suck up some of the blue paint. Come on, out of the way, you guys. Oh, I've just anthropomorphized my paint bottles. <laughs> All right, I need a skewer that is not Schmutzed up because I like the idea of adding another layer and I like it so much I'm going to do it again. Yep, we got just enough little cells popping in the sky to give the impression of stars. I'm kind of inclined to use my, uh, I was going to put some pink clouds in there. But I think because it looks so much like the Northern Lights that I should not do that. And when I get my mead in black, I will create what I was talking about with the rocks. In the meantime, that's pretty simple, but pretty dramatic also. I like it. Just dipping my skewer in sideways. We've got an ocean beating against the rocks. So that's pretty cool. I don't know how much of that you can see. But I'm <laughs> I'm pretty happy that it worked out as well as it did. I'm gonna try and zoom in on a few things if I can. 
And I don't think that that's ever going to get a moon. I think it's just going to be what it is. I can't really show you guys much of that very well. But you'll see it in the thumbnail. Let's see if I can zoom in. There's the northern lights in the sky. There's the layers of mountains. And basically what's a cliff face. And that's the ocean that I can't quite bring myself to go all the way down. I can't zoom in on that and still keep my camera in any semblance of a good position. So I love you guys. There's over 91,700 of you subscribed. If you're newly subscribed, please be welcome. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If, you, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for still being here. I really appreciate you guys so much. Maybe if I turn this sideways. I'm going to have some edges to touch up, I think. I can zoom a little bit better in. Zoom in better. My articulate nature goes away when I get excited about painting. All right, it is what it is, and it's pretty cool. It's the night sea. And I keep trying to get it in the right position for you. Okay, so there's a monthly drawing. You can find the exhibition video that shows the prizes for that drawing on the end screen of any video in the last 20 seconds. If you are someone who contributes to help me run the studio, make videos through PayPal or Patreon, I, for, I prefer PayPal, uh, you can find the icons and by contributing you will be automatically entered in the monthly drawing that happens at the end of the month along with a brand new exhibition video um, right around the same two days somewhere in there as long as I can get it together. Uh, I want to thank everybody for the wonderful comments that keep my morale boosted. I want to thank you all for who have made the donations that help keep me painting. I really appreciate you guys keeping me painting. If you'd like to contribute and you can't do it through PayPal or Patreon, purchasing items and looking for art supplies on Amazon and just starting at my link where it's at no matter cost to you but it helps me out. It accumulates after a long time. After, yeah, after a while. <laughs> um, I appreciate that. Plus my two books are there. Volumes 1 and Volumes 2 are Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. Please ask me questions if you need to have answers and if I have them I'll give them to you and if I don't I'll tell you that too. Um, my community board has tomorrow's video on it as well as Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group and you can find that uh, that group for students on the Linktree link right directly under the video along with Facebook groups Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more where you can shop to your heart's content. My, my designs are all over like 1400 items at findoutamericanpixels.com. If you're looking for more merch, all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts are available and, and by request if you can't find what you're looking for just ask. On Teespring you can see that clothing right underneath the video. What else should I tell you? On my link tree, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. Twitter, I post videos. Uh, Instagram, I post uh, new artworks when, they, when they're being made on the day or within a day or two. Pinterest gets the videos. Uh, what else? Please like, please share, please watch longer. And I really appreciate the thumbs up. And your comments are absolutely really so valuable. I appreciate them endlessly. I have 1,800 videos arranged into 18, going on 19 lists of 100, and also topic and genre. I'm going to just spread that out a little bit more. I might play with those the foam on the waves. So I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching till the end. Um, probably most people don't. So know that I'm uh, posting at 3.15 p.m. most days and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights at, at 10 p.m. also. So I hope to see you soon. My email address, oh, I should have said that first, is underneath the link tree. I do sell my artwork. Inquiries are welcome through my email address. I also give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And so feel free to use that email address if you want to contact me. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Wait a minute. I want to turn off the light and see if you can see better. Yeah, you can see a little better. Cool. All right. Bye for now. Priscilla out.